The Outdoor Nation Summit, it, it was a summit where it was young people ages 18 to 28 got together to address the issue of kids not going outside. And it has a lot of repercussions on their health and the environment because you can't expect kids to care about the outdoors and care about the environment if it's something they only see in pictures. So um, we got together, we figured out what were the barriers, you know, what was keeping kids from going outside. And once you know those barriers, you know, you can figure out how to overcome them. And so they walked us through the project development process um, to create a project like this. And we presented it to our peers and they voted on it. And we were one of the groups that got voted for the grant. So and that's kind of how the idea came about. I'm Miss Beach. I'm a science teacher here at Watkins and I'm a sponsor at Bulldogs Go Green. And we started it about two years. This will be our second full year of it. We started it after the kids found out what a watershed was in science class and found out that Houston was going to start drinking more surface water than groundwater and that everything on top of the ground goes into our drinking water. And so they decided that they needed to do something to make Watkins better. So we started with recycling and then we came up and one of my teachers, another sponsor, came and helped us with the gardening part. So right now we're working on our gardening and bringing Watkins back to a prairie like it's like it was before it was built. My name is Lynn and this is my sister Kendra. We love helping Bulldogs. Although I just started here, she's been coming here for quite some time. And I think it's awesome that they're doing they're doing this for the earth. I mean I think it's better than what they did at my old school. We're building a foundation for the kids that to know that they can make a difference, that they can make a change and that um, they are able to grow things for their, themselves and that they can make it make them, themselves better in the future. It makes me see that all, every kind of kid, no matter how big or small, come together to work together. It's all for them. The whole role is them. I'm only here to facilitate it and make sure that they're not getting in trouble. I mean, they do all the planting, they did all the painting, and on Thursday mornings they take out all the recycling. It's big. I mean, more than anything, this is the top priority it should be. Because the earth means a lot to a lot of us. They wanted to start off by just picking up the, the garbage one, like once a month at walk-ins. And the principal challenged us to make it a bigger role, and they decided to come up with a club. So my facilitation was that to come up with a club that they could come and meet and give their ideas on how to make their, their school better. My sister was doing it, and I just loved helping the earth, so I wanted to help with it. I don't know what happened, why she started it, but I started because I love the earth. The earth is my home. The community garden was their idea. It's a project that they were working on before we ever got here. Um, and so we just expanded on their original project and their original idea. The outdoor classroom was the kids' idea. I went to their classroom during their club meetings at 7 a.m. in the morning and I asked them if that garden could look like anything that they wanted, what would it look like? And the the picnic tables, the covered picnic tables, is something that came up over and over and over again. And that was not part of the original plan, but we figured we want these kids to be our leaders and we want them to think big, because we have big problems to solve, and so we're gonna figure out how to do it. Um, and that's completely their idea. The uh, habitat garden was something that we had suggested due to the um, eco historical ecology of the region. And um, so that's something that we brought in, but it's something that I think is going to be very exciting to them once we get it in and they see it. Mm -hmm.